Hello viewers and welcome to our Arma 3 beta campaign. Seeing as how the uh, the release of Arma 3 isn't actually going to have a official campaign at the very start, um, I kind of figured we might as well start checking out the community content and I found ourselves a fairly decently built campaign called Operation Dardanelles. So, um, today we'll be starting this and this operation essentially is a series of six missions I believe detailing the invasion of uh, Stratus. The first mission here is a daylight infiltration. Our objectives is to eliminate all the Op 4 present within the vi village of Gurna and then advance to the Op 4 uh, airbase, LZ Connor, and eliminate their air, in or their air assets there. So uh, we are essentially going to be crippling the enemy before the main landing uh, force actually arrives onto Stratus and you guys are free to read the briefing if you'd like I am uh, however not going to do that so to, for our disposal we have uh, one squad of infantry located here what I'm going to be uh, doing is that uh, we want to push to um, Gurna and we can really do this through two ways we can either move directly towards it or alternatively we can um, kind of go from the woodland here and then enter it what I think I'll do is that I'll get the move squad to move directly to left. it uh, as soon as how it is a resting area we're probably going to catch the enemy unawares so I will be back when we uh, have our troops assembled and we'll take a look at the village I so uh, just to kind of cut back on the walking time and stuff like that we're just going to do a series of quick cuts and we're back okay so I've uh, I've got our troops to move up here uh, they're currently crawling around and trying to get up to where I am but uh, we're essentially going to be picking off the enemy from this location right here I've taken a little bit of a recon look and I've identified one potential enemy compound here and another one over here and we have three uh, currently sightable groups on the Contact map. Riflemen, AT soldier, we have a marksman, meters a sentry, down. we have a, a small group of troops here, and we also have uh, what seems to be like a little campfire ga area over here, and there, what appears to be Machine some guys gunner, swimming. 200 meters, just up ahead. So our guys are still uh, getting set up. Contact and, soldier, well, we plan on opening two, up on them in zero. just a little bit. Now I'm going to get move our up. guys to move up slightly more, and then uh, as soon as we get there, we will start engaging. So yeah, our guys are going to crawl forward by a little bit. There's a yeah, there's some guy running around me. But they'll try to um, stay outside of the enemy's view for now. And it looks like we are um, we're almost set up, right? So that is good, and as soon as we finish doing that, we should be able to just mow down all of these guys. Waiting. Target acquired. Ready to fire. Contact. Rifleman. We'll wait until everybody is finished moving, and then uh... Contact. Soldier. 200 meters. Right up ahead. Okay, well let's start this. Go, I'll cover. Eyes on target. Fire at will. How did that guy get back up? Contact man, 200 meters, just up ahead. Okay, well it looks like uh, we managed to pick off everybody that we could see, and even the potential civilians are dead now. So yeah, that was uh, that was fairly effective. We managed to clear out all of them, or at least all of the ones that we can see for now. All right, so those guys are gone. There might be a few still lurking around, so. I'll get our guys to stay up here for now, and it looks like they're starting to uh, play for picks. Appears to be one running down there somewhere. But now that they've uh, essentially done that, Danger. we can switch them back onto the combat mode. And what I'll do is that I'll get them a, I'll give them a general advance order. So they move 200 meters. Try to front. get them to the opposite side over there, and they'll try to advance by uh, by bouncing up forward, and. Um, Really going from there. Soldier, 
Roger. 200 meters. Front. Target neutralized. Soldier. 100 meters. Front. Target neutralized. Oh. Soldier. 100 meters. Front. Target down. Man down. Oh no, we lost one guy. Yeah, they have one rocket launcher uh, with one round in them. For some reason, the the AI thinks that uh, well, I have Ace enabled, and for some reason, um, the AI constantly thinks that they're outside, they're out of missile ammunition for whatever reason. Anyhow, we're just going to have to deal with it. So it looks like uh, yeah, this area is fine now. Our guys will uh, well, I'll actually get a few of them. To Two, stay up on three, this ridge. Move right. Roger. And they'll cover us. And I'm going to take the rest of the people down here. And I'm going to uh, clear out the individual buildings. Because it looks like uh, we still need to clear out Reloading. these buildings to finish off the mission. Hmm. Man, 75 meters behind us. Hmm. Where is that guy? He's apparently behind us in a fairly good location too. Force apparently back on that hill where why we were uh, once were. So unfortunately, we did take a few losses in clearing this location. Mm. Move right! Move mm. right! Oh, there we go. We finished uh, clearing the rest Return area to formation. Now. So because this is a, uh, a infiltration op, we're going to have to uh, get out of this area immediately, seeing as how we've um, effectively stirred Three, up the hornet's nest. Rip. We still have uh, two guys, two infantrymen alive, and uh, two AT rifle men. Oh no! Looks like we're going to have to finish Fall this back. mission Welcome. with only uh, with only four guys. See you guys uh, later on when we get to the second objective, which is to eliminate this uh, compound.